Hey, good Saturday, everyone. It's Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here with a real quick, I hope, video update for you as uh, we head towards our uh, storm on Sunday. A couple of developments as we get new data this morning. The storm continues to make a no more northward push than uh, the data indicated yesterday and the day before, and this has some implications. I'm starting to become convinced that uh, we're going to see, see a little sleet trying to mix in in some parts of our viewing area, mainly south of Route 30. And that could cut down on our snowfall totals in the far southern part of our viewing area. Still, even if you see some sleet in Lisbon and East Palestine, East Liverpool, you're still going to get enough snow to shovel. And for a lot of us, this is still looking like a blockbuster winter storm. Well, it's a nice looking day today. Today's the day to run errands, do anything you need to do to get ready for the Super Bowl or whatever you might be doing this weekend. Uh, no problems on the roads, not much wind today, so the blowing snow that we had yesterday not much of a problem at all today. Well, as we uh, take a look at our radar across the country, here's our storm moving across the southern plains, heading up into parts of the Missouri and Mississippi valleys. It's still on schedule to arrive here by early in the day on Sunday. So here's how much snow we can expect by certain times of the day. Uh, again, this is going to start early Sunday morning. And by Sunday evening, I think uh, we have at least a few inches on the ground. This is the, uh, the NAM model. If you've watched my videos, you hear me throw around some, some acronyms sometimes, NAM, North American Model. This model uh, continues to trend north with the low track, and, and that does cut down on the snow accumulations a bit across our viewing area, but still at least a few inches on the ground by the time a lot of us are done watching the Super Bowl and getting ready to head to bed, preparing for a, uh, a work day coming up on Monday. Now by Monday morning, here's what we can expect, at least according to this particular model. Lowest amounts in the southern part of our viewing area, and again, becoming concerned about uh, about some sleet uh, trying to mix in down in here, and that would cut down on snow totals. Notice the NAM only has about three inches by Monday morning in Calcutta, whereas up in Trumbull County, solid eight, maybe nine inches. A lot of Mahoning County gets at least a half a foot. Uh, this is just one model I'm showing you. Don't want to harp too much on the numbers here because they do vary by model, but I do think that this is reasonably close to what uh, we can expect. The numbers might still be a little low down uh, in, in Columbiana County, even though I am concerned about some sleet trying to mix in. I suspect these numbers are just a little bit low based on some of the other models I've seen. And a storm total, again, by Monday afternoon. It's not out of the question that some places get 10 inches out of this, 11. Uh, if you've been following all along, uh, we've been emphasizing the higher end of our range in a lot of the viewing area, our range of 5 to 9. Still looks good for our viewing area. Lower end of the range looking a little more likely uh, south of Route 30. Higher end of the range pretty likely uh, north of Interstate 80. And a lot of Mahoning County, Lawrence County probably somewhere in the middle or towards the top end. Your best chance uh, throughout the region, region-wide, of seeing up to 12, even 13 We'll be out here, uh, maybe the Toledo area, Bowling Green, heading over towards Fort Wayne, Indiana. But uh, five to nine should cover our viewing area. I, uh, I'm starting to become a little bit concerned that down in here you're going to be closer to the five, but up in here, certainly closer to the nine. Um, and I can't even rule out 10 or 11. High impacts for roads and travel. If you're going to be traveling Sunday, plan on it being slow all day. Heaviest of the snow, afternoon and evening should start to taper off then during the course of Sunday night, early Monday morning. Uh, I'm no expert on school closings and delays, but uh, I strongly suspect there will at least be some delays, if not uh, all-day closings, coming up on Monday. Now we're going to be getting more model information as we head towards midday today. Uh, I've already seen the new NAM, the new GFS, and European models will be out in a couple of hours. If that northward trend continues, you know we might have to really start emphasizing that the far southern part of our viewing area uh, especially south of Route 30, uh, could only pick up maybe four or five inches out of this, while there could be 11 up in Trumbull County. Could be a, a wider range, just depending on if this northward trend continues. So I'll keep you updated on social media. Andrew DePaulo is in on 21 News this evening at 6 and 11. Jess will be in on WFMJ Weekend today, tomorrow morning. I'm going to try to take some time off this weekend, but I'll uh, I'll keep chiming in on, on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, if you don't follow me on either of those platforms or just one or the other, strongly recommend you follow me on Twitter. It's uh, better than Facebook uh, for getting information out. I am Eric WFMJ on Twitter. Have a good and safe rest of your weekend.